and welcome to another Flower Hour. I'm Harriet Parry and today I'm going to be giving you some tips and inspiration to brighten up your home this January using flowers from your Bloom & Wild subscription box. So once your flowers have arrived for your letterbox, it's time to unpack them and cut the stems, pop them in some water, ready to arrange later. So when you cut your stems, you want to cut them at a 45 degree angle, about an inch and a half from the bottom of the stem. And you want to do that with all of the stems in your bouquet subscription box. So once you've cut all of your stems, you also want to remove any leaves or foliage that is going to be below your waterline once popped in your vase. So I'm just going to remove these. There you go. And you want to do that with all of your stems once again from your box. So now I'm going to pop my cut stems into a vase of clean water so they can all have a drink, so they're nice and strong for me to arrange my flowers later when I've got a bit of time for myself. So Bloom & Wild letterbox flowers are posted to you in bud. And here are my flowers that I popped in the vase earlier. Here are flowers a couple of days later and these are in bloom. And I've arranged these flowers in a 360 fashion, which means they can be seen all the way around. It's a perfect arrangement for a, for a tabletop, um, on your kitchen table, on your dining room table. Um, so you want to have your flowers arranged in a crisscross fashion, and you want to have higher flowers in the middle and shorter flowers on the outside. Of course, it all depends where you want to place your flowers to brighten up your home. So here's another arrangement. So this is actually a front facing arrangement. So these arrangements are perfect if you've got a flat wall. So all your flowers are more at the front. So I'm just gonna jiggle a few things around and don't be afraid to cut your stems. Um, so with a front facing, you have longer stems at the back, medium stems in the middle and shorter stems at the front. So I'm just gonna trim this one down. Okay, and I'm just going to place it here because I've got the same colour here. So I'm just going to balance it out by popping it here. So you just want to wiggle a few stems. It's just about adjusting your 360. If you're moving your 360 to a different spot over, over the days, it's just jiggling a few stems around and cutting a few. So you don't always have to arrange all your flowers in one vase. Another idea is to separate your stems and arrange them in lots of different interesting vessels and vases. So you can dot them around your home to spread the floral joy even further. Um, so here, I've actually arranged flowers in this mug, which is quite playful. Um, also, flowers have different vase lives. So it's a good idea to take out certain stems that are just going past their best, perhaps, and pop them in a separate vase. So you can really sort of get the most out of your flowers for the longest time. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And that, that just looks beautiful just on its own, like that. So that's a few ideas on how to brighten up your home with flowers this January. Um, please send in any pictures that you have of your flower arrangements. We love, love, love to see them. And all I'd like to say is enjoy your Blue and Wild subscription box and I'll see you next time. Bye.